What's up everyone, this is Karan here, back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I got a lot of comments regarding Aeon OS custom room. So let's try to review Aeon OS now. Aeon's official build is available for a lot of devices. So I've installed this official build on my device Gingo, which is Redmi Note 8 as you can see. Maintainer of this room for Redmi Note 8 is Strix247. So thanks to the maintainer, thanks to the developer of this room. This room has a lot of customizations, a great performance, a very very smooth performance including stability. So in this video I'll try to show you that how's the stability, how's the performance and which are the main features you get in AN OS custom room. As you can see this is official build and this one is actually based on Android version 10 let me just tell you. This one is based on Android version 10 with the June security patch and you got the quicksilver kernel pre-installed make sure to watch this video till the end i'll try to show you everything in this video let's get started right now okay so we are here at the home screen of Ian os custom room as you already know Ian os custom room is actually based on pixel experience but with a lot of customization options if you have noticed i have this kind of quick settings which you can customize also you can see one two three four five six columns and six actually two rows and six columns here just click here and you can add a lot of extra tiles option there are a lot like ambient display audio mode invert colors dark theme reboot gaming mode AOD, FPS info, a lot more and including that we have MI sound enhancer, focus mode etc. One of the best thing is you can also customize these things from here, columns, columns landscape and you can customize your quick bar columns too which is not present now in almost all rooms which is available in Aeon OS right now. Rows, rows landscape, show labels and reset. This is one of the great thing about this Aeon OS custom room. You also get this notification header sorry this is i think quick settings header which has unique things you can add pictures you can add a lot of things you can also use your own header and these features are available in the settings so i'll show you in settings after later on now moving on to some other things we have pixel launcher pre-installed with very smooth things as you can see it's pretty much smooth no lags at all which was not expected also Swiping right you can see this Google Pixel feed as we are using a Pixel launcher so yes it was expected too. We get some customization options here, add icon to home screen, add a glance, display Google apps, suggestions about and some little bit of things available here too. This room has extra customization options which I'll show you later on so now let me start talk about A and X camera. The ANX camera which we get here is this MIUI 11, MIUI 11 camera which I was expecting like we will get MIUI 12 camera but we got MIUI 11 camera which is working perfectly fine here including 48 megapixel as it's a official build so these things were expected also. We get the ultra wide angle option available here which is also perfectly fine no extra things because this one is a MIUI 11 base camera as you can see macro lens is here too which works pretty much fine we have portrait mode available option we have night mode panorama mode and after that at last we have pro mode where we have some extra features and options available i was expecting MIUI 12 camera but if we got MIUI 11 camera that's also fine we can use gcam if we want to i don't have gcam pre-installed so i cannot show you how about the gcam but that should also perfectly fine because it's official build so there might be no bugs at all so now let's moving on to further some other things so talking about the magisk manager i've installed magisk 20.4 the latest magisk version and talking about the safety net status safety net status is passed as you can see status profile is true and basic integrity is also true you don't have to install the lower version like magisk 20.3 to pass the safety net status safety net is passed in 20.4 also which i liked a lot so which means you can use the banking apps if you want to and now let's talk about some other things let me just tell you this one is also one of the great thing we have device is certified option and yes if you are if you're using magisk and we have cts profile pass which means our device will be certified too 
that's interesting thing so these two things are positive things so which might you have to install this room for sure because it has a lot of great things right now Moving on to settings, we have all the same features which you get in all the AOSP based rooms, network and internet connected devices. We will take a look at ionizer menu after some time. Moving on to display, we have some things which you might get in all the AOSP based or pixel based rooms, brightness level, adaptive brightness, live display. But when you go to styles and wallpapers, you don't get any styles pre-installed. But when you go to clock option, you have some options of customizing the clock binary as funny divided lines or anno minimal box or these kind of things click anyone from here you can choose anything just click on apply and you're good to go that's something interesting that you have some extra clock options but i was expecting some styles option too which are not available right now so we can't do anything here too double tap to wake option is available screen saver option and display size options are available too sound storage privacy everything is just perfectly fine you can adjust the permissions from here this one is permission manager so in which you have the information some which average or how many apps are getting how many permissions right now as you can see if you talk about the contacts permission i have nine apps who are requesting contacts permission from me so if i does not want to give permission give context permission to a particular app I can choose like this and you can choose deny option which is one of the great feature in any room right now so in ANOS it's just perfectly fine too all other things are same you got the privacy chip options show in status bar privacy indicator and some other things options are available Talking about the security, we have this screen lock option pattern including the fingerprints which are perfectly fine and we have the face lock option available too. This is kind of interesting and face lock is also perfectly fine. I'm using from some time and I didn't got any issues yet with fingerprint or face lock. Both these things are just perfectly fine here. In system we have gestures option which was just expected too. We have the gesture navigation option, swipe to screenshot option also. You can simply swipe three fingers to take screenshots and in gesture navigation, the thing which I was expecting length use for gesture navigation bar handle. That's also perfectly fine here as you can see no bar here which is hidden now and it is an option available here you can choose this long option so then you will get your bar downside here as you can see this is a bar which you get here after some time if you use gesture navigation with this option these were kind of things which i just want to share with you so if we talk about some other things let's move on to ionizer now Okay, so we are in the ionizer menu where we have some customization options including interface, status bar, quick settings, buttons, navigation, lock screen, notifications, system and about. First of all in interface as expected we have some styles option, theming options like ASIN color, body fonts option which have a lot of extra fonts options available. China Cat, Apple Mint, Slate Pro, Rubik, Roboto, etc. Icon shapes option, customization options are available like square, teardrop, square, cylinder and rounded rectangle. These are the features you get in almost all the customizable rooms like Havoc OS and some others too. But yes, you get in Iron OS also. Quick setting panel customization options are available. Quick settings opacity is options are available. You can choose the header image like I have chosen this one, which is looking good. And you have other options to customize like pick image from collection. You can choose this option from here, nature random or whatever else you like, you can choose that one. So like your system header will be changed like this, which is quite impressive. And you get this in ionizer custom room. New tint style, use default colors, blur behind the quick settings which is in beta mode which is just working perfectly but I personally don't choose this option. I just don't like this option, I don't know why but I just don't like it so I don't use it. Screen density options, dumb dashboard options are available here. Status bar customization options, we've got the clock customization, some battery level customization, some icons customization where you get a lot of extra volty icons. I don't have carry supported volty so I cannot show you all these icons but there are a lot a lot of these icons are available which are quite impressive. 
gesture options are available too which you can customize and quick settings these were the things which you also get here and you click this and you also get these options here but if you don't want to use that you can choose these options from here to quick settings and some advanced options tiles options header options some other things you also get the data usage in quick settings header we can choose a daily usage we can choose a monthly usage i have just tried it and it's just perfectly fine here perfectly working auto brightness icon quick settings footer etc a lot of these things are available we have buttons customization we have navigation customization some lock screen customization includes clock and date and media customization we also get the music visualizer available we have some extra customization like status bar on lock screen quick settings charging animation pocket detection some security related customization options fingerprint authentication vibration fingerprint error vibration force biometric unlock and these kind of options you get here at last we have some notification and system these kind of options including gaming mode we have gaming mode if you want to you can choose the gaming mode option too screen display tweaks some other options these were a lot so just go and customize anything i have already shown you a lot of things if you still want to check out all the features you can go and try out this room right now these are all the features these are all the things about anos custom room available for a lot of devices so if you're using redmi note 8 the direct link will be in the description and if you're using any other device your also direct link is in the description make sure to check that so these are all the things you get in this build this was all from today's video i hope you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day